Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Once again, this is the Cosmos Centric Mystic uh, coming at you with the morning drive. Um, I wanted to talk about an experience I recently had dealing with uh, some college students and beginning to understand millennial thought, which is a new thought. Uh, we are definitely on a new age. So, the teachings were that there was some sort of planetary shift that happened in 2012, right? And so the people were like, well, nothing happened. This was all nonsense and heresy or something, whatever. Um, and then I'm always, I'm always of a conviction that unless I see it, it is... I'm kind of like, you know, I can't explain it. But once I begin to see things, then I see them. Uh, no matter how they sound. So, this is my take on what's happening. In 2012, so, me, I've been African-centered, spiritual, of a, an Af a person of African-centered spiritual consciousness uh, since 1997. And... Growing up or being located where I was in Seattle, that was something that was an anomaly. You know, interacting with people uh, was always a strategy. It wasn't as if though uh, it was easy and then my views and ideas was readily accepted, you know. Uh, there was a more, there was a shift, or there was not a shift, but there was a, you know, there was more conservatism as far as views are concerned um, in relationship to this thought. And so, and this is the way that many people were. I mean, it was not popular to express who you were. It was very, it was considered radical and revolutionary to wear dashiki. Uh, it was considered um, radical and revolutionary to proclaim that you are openly not orthodox, you know, Catholic, Christian, or whatever. Um, and so then you develop this persona that was used to hiding or not revealing your understanding. And especially if you wanted to have a job or make it in corporate world or support your family or whatnot, it was, you know, you didn't talk out, you didn't speak out, you didn't show out. Because, uh, you know, you would be persecuted by people of color, Europeans, uh, just the gamut. Um, but what I'm noticing about this day and age, after literally after 2012, you know, things built up, of course, from that. <clears throat> we can begin, I mean, if you just take time out, you can trace its progression. But this is a day and age where people are more open to expressing who they are and what they have is an understanding. And um, my interaction with these college student millennials is, is showing me that, you know, they are not, they don't understand what it is. They don't know what it's like to be persecuted. They uh, grew up in a time of, they grew up in what, the third decade of liberating freedom struggles and conversations. And so this is the result. Some uh, students who are not, are millennials who do not see limits and limitations. Now, Everybody talks about how off they are, and I guess I haven't interacted enough with them to understand that. Um, but so far, from what I'm seeing, they believe that things can be done. And these are the esoteric millennials, the ones that are interested in meditation and spirituality. You know, when I was up on campus um, and began the Society of Holistic Living and Meditation, one of the goals of the society was to instill spiritual practices and disciplines inside the students that came to the campus so that when they went off into their respective places on the earth, wherever they're from, you know, different places in America, different places in Africa and the Caribbean, they would be given solid spiritual techniques and spiritual practices that had observable results that they could take with them to strengthen them in their spiritual journey and walk. Um, that was the goal. That was part of the goal. And now I see that 
they are naturally spiritual and they are engaging in activities themselves and their spirituality is not something to be hidden but something to be embraced and explored and it's just very beautiful to see it's very interesting uh, and honestly I'm in support of this type of understanding and this type of thinking because we definitely need to break the old mold the old mold is destroying and killing people and this is possibly the beginning of the new mold and it's new 10 years ago that was not in existence and I think this has a lot to do with the social media you know because they were able to connect with other groups other people of like mind and so they don't feel as isolated as we did so peace